Time to head east. Let's check out the combined A's that happened in Sioux Falls. We'll start with the girls' tourney. The five-time defending champs from St. Thomas More suffered their first state tournament loss since 2013. Let that sink in for a moment. They haven't lost in the state tournament since 2013. They did get beat by Lennox, however, in the quarterfinals, sending them to the loser's bracket. The uh, winners on the day, McCook Central Montrose, they got a win in a high-scoring matchup with Todd County, 80-75 to for that win. In fact, that was the second highest scoring game in Girls A tournament history. The semis featured a rematch of West Central and Lennox. They played in the regular season, and it went to overtime where West Central got the win. Same result this time around. West Central gets the three-point victory and move on to the finals. Winner turned up the heat on defense and pulled away from MCM. They got a 66-44 win in the semifinals. That would set up one versus two. Unbeaten versus unbeaten. Two teams who definitely earned their spot with a very good season on that big Saturday night stage. Winner gets started in this one with a 7-0 lead, 7-0 run. But West Central for a 10-0 run of their own and take the lead right back. That first quarter from then on was back and forth. Winner would have the lead at the end of the first, though, despite five turnovers in that first quarter. Second quarter, it was back and forth once again. West Central went on another run. Cassidy Simmonsma capped a 7-0 run to put them in control. West Central would hold a lead for the rest of the half and went into halftime with a four-point lead. Second half, winner shots were starting to fall. Their freshman, Bella Sweedland, hits a big three-pointer right there. And another three-pointer, Gabriel Kocher, the senior, ties the game at 38. And that would spark a 16-0 run by the Lady Warriors. And from then on, they would keep that lead all the way into the fourth period and beyond. Winner gets their first girls basketball title in school history with a 60-53 win. Kocher scored 21 points hit four three-pointers while their freshman, Bella Sweetland, with 12 points and 13 rebounds. We caught up with Coach Aker and a couple of the players after this momentous win. You know, it's always something that you dream about, you know, and to, to attain it and undefeated, it's even much better. It, I mean, you can't even explain. We've been working so hard throughout the summer and the off season and it, finally paid off. Coach told us that if we get enough hours in the summer and the off season that we could have the potential to be a state tournament champion. <laughs> well, we know how we know how to read passes. You know, the press is always right there. We practice it every day, every practice, hard, and we know how to pressure in the situations. We've been in two previous state titles, so to win one just feels awesome. Um, now he can't tell me to win one. I can tell you that. 